three text trial ad performance review q a i mean basically i'm just going to lay it all out i'm going to just show you the big picture i know some of you have been to demos and and done some other stuff with people um but this is time uh, just to kind of give me your stats and i'll give you a heads up hey keep that ad going or turn it off that's it that's really the, the main way because facebook they'll spend your money that's just what they do well okay they spend money well and it, you either get it spent wisely or you it just sucks and you start reaching people and you're like, why am I spending all this money? And all it is is looking like I'm getting this branding. So we got to really aggressively look at your ad from the beginning and I'm going to showcase what you're looking for basically as as a cost per click is concerned, as a cost per lead is concerned, as a cost per email is concerned, and as a cost per phone number is concerned. So that's what it really comes down to and then we could really have fun after we start getting a good idea of how to get leads generated how to really get into relationship with those leads okay so um that being said if you like share it in the chat feature if you know your stats i mean make sure your your accounts pulled open i need to know how much you spent particularly on each ad that you have if you're running a split test and if you're not running a split test and obviously you haven't had a demo <laughs> um because the split test is how we really have been made famous in the in the Facebook world. So a split test is three ads, 24 hours, let the best ad win. It's basically what it comes down to. I'll, I'll, I'll kind of go into some details on how, how to set them up properly. But a split test usually starts at about $9 each ad is what we recommend. And you can scale that. I mean, you can scale that up or down. I think $9 is a good safe place to start and then kind of recognize how that ad performs. And then you'll decide if that's a good number in your market or you know which way we need to go based on the lack or plentiful of lead flow. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, so since, uh, so who wants to start? Um, I know Sandra, we, we don't have to talk about your ads because we already have, so we'll wait. Um, who likes to share their ad performance so far? And I could go into your account too. I, I can share my screen. I just like I like to start yeah. for where I like to talk. Yeah, go ahead. And just unmute yourself there. Am I, am I the yeah that you called on? Absolutely. <laughs> uh, well, I signed up for the trial and I'm probably like a lot of agents that get super distracted and sign up and don't follow up after that. Uh, but I have gotten quite a few leads i guess we can call them um so the you know within the the five days that i've had it i've probably gotten maybe six leads which i think is a lot they're local but i have not watched the demo so here i am trying okay. to learn what and you know what you're a great it's a great opportunity because i do have lots of people like you that come in and then just like hey i'm just gonna run some ads and see what happens um and and sometimes it works favorably sometimes it doesn't and so i actually think if you think this is a good lead flow then you're in for a surprise once we actually set these up properly <laughs> um and it's because if i look at the way you set up your ad you kind of just run a couple ads you like set them up to to go against each other you essentially went into this idea of you know you actually you set up your ad image properly um you you kind of targeted sandemus right and if you look at the ad itself you want to adjust your ad image for 15 miles which you did um 15 miles is the natural housing discriminatory act factor we have to to factor in which means if you target one place automatically assume that 15 miles would be surrounded in it that's why that's why when i text people sometimes the text doesn't get received obviously or they think it's some sort of bot i'm not a bot it's me um that's why I try to connect with you on Facebook, by the way, guys, because if I can get connected with you on Facebook, now I can have fun and send you video. Right now I've been practicing the filter with the, I'll show you in a second, it's really funny. Um, so when you do San Dimas plus 15, you should almost start with the the idea of, and I'll, and I'll give you a really good understanding, because all of you start here and I don't like, I'm not a stickler, I don't say like, you only get three funnels to work in this trial. I'm like, no, I'm going to actually put you in the best funnel. Okay. I do that for everybody. And so oftentimes what I'll do is I'll be like, okay, I'm going to just make you live for a second as if you were a full member with me and I'm going to go into your account and I'm going to go into 
first and foremost, I'm just going to go make sure this image is the one I want to use. So I'll probably select this by making you tell me where is the most center address or zip code you're willing to drive from. So go ahead and tell me what is that? 91773. 91773. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's Sandy Miss. And then now as I see this, then I would be like, okay, so here we go. San Dimas would take us all the way to really Sierra Madre, Arcadia, El Monte, down to Whittier, uh, you know, Yorba Linda, and then up to Rancho Cucamonga and stuff, right? And then, you know, obviously no one's really living out there in Mount Baldy in the mountains, really. So you could decide to lower this if you wanted to, to have more of an influence in that community. Or if you're like, you know what, I, it doesn't matter. I, I want this to be my circle. So the key is when you look at this, you have to deal with that circle no matter what. So it's wherever you want to move it is, is that's optimally for you. So what do you think? Do you want to move the circle or do you like it? I feel comfortable with, I, I get bummed that half of my circle is where nobody lives, but I do feel comfortable with the radius of it. Okay. And, and don't be bummed because actually it's, a, it's favorable for you. That's why when people live near the water or mountains, because sometimes you're like, why well, in an ideal world, I'd want only San Dimas anyways, right? So, um, but because we're all adjusting for the 15 miles, it sometimes works in your favor. So, so I'll keep it this way, right? Because this is kind of the ideal for you. And so I'd make sure my eyes visually knew where the parameter of that circle was, right? And then essentially I, I click escape and I'm just going to grab the zip code. I'm just going to copy it. I do a command C, I use a Mac, but copy type of thing for your computer. You click done and you're locked into a lo longitude latitude. So it's essentially, it's like a 34.110, you know, it doesn't even matter. Just, you know, it's a long longitude latitude number. So instead of just tired of getting San Dimas, you're like locking into a radius. And then you go back and you throw that address in there, just like this. And then you just make sure that that 15 miles wasn't considered, right? Um, in that realm. So that's why you kind of zoom out just one more, just like this. And then you could actually go between a mountainous kind of terrain feature, or you could even go like a satellite, okay? And I know it's like, ooh, that's dark. I, why would anybody click on that? But actually it's probably one of my best performing ads, funny, funny enough, mm -hmm. especially when I'm running it near the water. It's a nice contrast, right? So just to kind of tell you like, you know, we can go wherever you want with this, but this is kind of usually how I start it, right? So in that, in that case, then, and I do that because everybody does the map. So it's nice to do, do something that everybody doesn't do because it kind of separates you. And so then I click next, next, and then I'm deploying. Now that is our trial start ad with the three emojis because obviously you're not saying the actual town on there. So it almost takes its place. If someone were to buy your home, would you sell it? Your targeting locks in the 15 miles. You go back and adjust that image to reflect the 15 miles. And that's a best practice. And you know, it, surprise, surprise, this map has been our bread and butter for almost six years because it doesn't feel like your typical marketing ad. It's, that's why people click on it. Actually, more than 60% of the time they click on that. So if you have a good cost per click model, you're gonna get leads. And that's the key is if we can develop lots of clicks, you're gonna get leads. Now. Um, what I've been doing for people though, is saying, okay, I'm going to go grab that image that I just launched. I'm not going to actually even keep that ad running that I just did for you. I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to go and I'm going to take this picture and I'm just going to drag it onto my computer. And then I'm going to go to funnels and I'm going to open you up to an even better funnel that I've got going right now. And it's called the, what's your home really worth funnel. And guess what? Like it's, it's great because it's got even higher click to contact. It's almost about 64% right now. And that's crazy in the industry. Like if, in real estate, if you can sit over 5%, you, you've considered like pretty good. And then if you're a 9% uh, click to contact, you're considered a 90th percentile. So imagine what Street Text has just done for you. But it's because we don't run a static landing page. The static landing page that Facebook offers is called a Facebook lead ad. And there's times for that. And we actually have lots of those type of ads. If you look in our, in our full funnels, we have lead ads specifically to capture all the information up front. But Street Text is known for the dynamic 
capture. That's why you have percentage of your leads that are addresses, percentage that are emails, percentage that are also name and phone number. And we have to have solutions for all of those. And so we'll, we'll talk about that later in this, this, uh, this meeting. But in this What's Your Home Really Worth funnel, the beauty behind it is that it's just so upfront and straightforward. I mean, it's basically saying, what's your home really worth? Enter your address, receive your home value. So now I'm just gonna go in there and I'm gonna upload that file that I just dragged onto my computer. And it's, a, it's kind of a variation of the one that you did in the beginning, but I, even better, even better, super better, like for higher competitive markets. Like I, I haven't seen something that touches it. Um, and, and the fun part about this funnel, by the way, is you don't have to run this map. I have people that give me an image of their area and it could be like a fun landscape or aerial image looking down like a city shot, a landscape, Vegas, maybe it's the strip in San Francisco, it's the Golden Gate Bridge, you know, something that really people associate to that given area, you know, in Hollywood, it'd be the Hollywood sign, right? So anything's possible with this type of funnel because the, the message is so clear. You just got to put something in there that is organic and native, okay? And wouldn't discriminate anybody in that 15 miles. So this map does that, exactly. And then I just essentially go drop a pin again, because that's what I, what's the San Dimas zip code that you gave me, click done, click next. And then I'm literally deploying three of those identically for 24 hours. So I'm gonna pause all the other ads you have. And what you'd wanna do is run those for the next 24 hours with me, each at nine bucks. And then tomorrow, even at the same time, would have enough data probably. Um, you can come back to this class and we could review it just for everybody to see the learning lesson. That's what I do. I mean, that's really how easy it is. And, and, and you could basically replicate the same model for any funnel that we have. That's the split test. And the split test usually always gets you results because you're reaching five, three at least, and up to five you can actually run. But you're, you're, you're branching out to three unique audiences in that 15 miles. So just ra it's a random selection by Facebook, randomly. There's no way to really tell where it's going and how it's going to go there. All you know is that they're going to randomly select a group of 500 in that 15 miles. So we need to have multiple samples to see where those clicks are happening and the ideal homeowner is. One thing I do like about Facebook is that it is the older audience. So, um, you know, and I'm older. So <laughs> Hey, I, I got started on Facebook, by the way, when I was in college in 2000 and it was 2002 to 2006, where kind of Facebook emerged and it got started in, in, in um, university. It was designed for university. It was kind of that MySpace Facebook era. And that's now it's taken off to be the biggest social network in the entire universe, really. I think there's billions of people, right? So Generation Y, baby boomers, exes, millennials, we're all here. One thing I thought was funny, I got three leads with phone numbers and email addresses and names and addresses within like a half hour time frame, and I haven't gotten anything since. So it's somehow how the ads are popping up, maybe. Yeah, you know, and that's why we have to tr take it like it's you have there's some learning that takes place in this type of lead gen Facebook. You know, I like to study things pretty closely. I'm making very aggressive decisions because I've been looking at ads for um, probably hundreds of thousands of ads since 2006. So I can tell within $5 of an ad spending if it's going to work or not. But you, to me, you guys are just, your eyes are so new to this. So you let ads run and all of a sudden you're like, well, what's happening? Um, so that's why we have this community and we have, um, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, like it's not, it's not for the faint of heart. It's not for anybody that's looking for a set it and forget it program like, and have everything done for them. This is, we're basically making new fishers of Facebook people. And so you have to learn how to fish, right? And so it's not like, let me fish for you for street texts. No, let me show you how to run ads. Let me show you how to actually analyze your ads on every day. Let me show you the funnels that you should be using and when you should turn ads off. And then really, once you get into some sort of predictability it's for, in, in terms of lead flow is, now we're shifting to, okay, how do we narrate the experience from our point of view so that when that lead submits their address and then their email, because this is where it really hit the rubber hits the road, 
what are they receiving in that very moment from you? What are they getting as an email? If they submit their name and phone number, are they seeing a Facebook review if you have any? Because you can pull those in. If they, um, do you have a tagline next to your picture? Are you using a brand or are you using your picture? And, and this is really where I think you need to start humanizing this thing and switching to, from brand to you because you are the connection point. You are the, the relationship starter. It's about, it's really about creating the experience you want them to have from the moment they get into the funnel. And then when they get in their inbox, now they need to meet you face to face. And so people are, are a little bit awkward with that sometimes because they're not so used to that technology, but because we're working the top of funnel and they weren't actively searching for you, this is called interruption-based marketing. They just randomly saw an ad in their newsfeed disguised with every one of their uh, friends stuff and whatever else is in their feed, right? And they see an ad and they, they, it says, what's your home really worth? Enter your address, receive your home value. And they click on it. And they probably think in that moment, they're gonna be getting a, a automated home value, but they're not. They're not getting automated home value. They're, they're, they're actually as a person yourself on the other side, looking to help and, and contribute to them and get them that value, but obviously not without having a conversation. So I think the problem is a lot of people start it with, they, they think that they're just gonna hand over a CMA and things are just gonna kind of work in their favor. But I, I would quickly tell you, if that's what you're gonna do, you're gonna be so frustrated. I, I work with people all the time that sent 70 CMAs over the course of the last month and got nothing. And I'm like, I told you this is insanity. This is insanity, doing the same thing over and over, expecting different results. Absolutely not. Like you could get them at home value. You could use RPR. You could use HomeBot. You could use whatever you'd like, Cloud CMA. There's so many solutions. You could pull up your MLS. You could have fun and say, Zillow thinks your home's worth this. Realtor guesses it's this. You know, Redfin puts it here. My interpretation is this. But if you try to do that in a text-based response where you're faceless, where your personality isn't connecting, where there's no body language and tonality, where you're like, can you imagine me trying to tell you about street text right now just by texting you back and forth or even running you emails? So that's where I need to really communicate it because lead generation is the easy part, guys. And I know, um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll work with you as long as we need. I have, I have no problems extending trials for people if it's a lead generation problem. But where I quickly weed out people is when I show them what it takes to be successful. Because some people are like, uh, video, <laughs> I can't do video. I'm like, ooh, well, you're, if you can't do video, good luck. Because we're in the COVID era now where it's not even an uh, option anymore. It's a non-negotiable. Video, Zoom, Messenger, everything's moved this direction, right? Everybody's connecting this way because it's a safe way to connect. It's the day and age we live in. So let me show you something that'll kind of help set that in motion for you. All right. Am I losing anybody yet? If I drop some people or if some people fly off the realm and they're like, oh no, this is not for me. I get it. It is not for everybody. Hold on. Even I struggle with technology sometimes when I try to get my screen share. Okay. Okay. So what happens, it's just important to recognize like what happens when you look at your ads is so you kind of go in this perspective okay um so here's your ads that i set up for you by the way so i'm gonna i'm gonna turn this one off and i'm gonna turn this one off because that's way too high i'll tell you what stats you're looking for and this is going to apply to everybody so don't think i'm just talking to one person here i'm talking to you all i'm gonna turn this one off and we're gonna leave these three running for 24 hours one two three and so what you're going to be looking for is the lowest cost per click model. Like that was your lowest cost per click, but that only had a $6 address and, a, and one email that came out of this. This one had five addresses, one email, you know, 23 bucks spent there, 23 bucks spent there. Um, and then if you look at your contacts, you got Gary and Patricia, two different. So those, those ended up being pretty good. I mean, you got a, a phone number, just curious, and this person actually gave you a time frame in Upland. Um, and then what you had going on too is that you never activated this. And we'll talk about that shortly because that's your SMS that would automatically text your leads. So I get nervous when I don't have control over what's going out. 
well, that's yeah. why we work together on this. So you'll learn what, we're, what goes out and then you'll start customizing it okay. for your own personality. But I'll show you what's happening. So, so someone comes into this. Um, so let's just pretend we, we're you know a homeowner. I'm gonna go use one of your old ads. So we're just scrolling down Facebook. And, you know, we happen to see this ad. And so we click on the ad and we're like, oh, you know, I want to know what my, my home is worth. And, and so this begins the process. And so this is why the, this is important to have lots of clicks because lots of clicks produces the second most common piece of information, which is an address, right? Because we're, we're asking for an address. That's why that new funnel I, worked, I set up for you is going to be so clear. What's your home really worth? Enter your address. Now, this is where the rubber hits the road, right? Because this is where we need to get an email to get them sent out the value. And so when that email is submitted in this very moment, they actually become a contact. So in your, in your dashboard, you have contacts, right? And you can see that I just came in here because I just entered my address and email and people that stopped, that stopped at that process and stayed great, like Twinberry Circle, San Luis Obispo, that's where I went to school. Um, La Puente, Covina, mm -hmm. they stopped, so they didn't go through to the email section. So we'll have a, we'll have a, a solution for them, and that'll be a mail alert solution. Um, some people will use trace systems, pull up their tax records, all that good stuff, right? It just depends on what you're willing to do. But for the contacts, that act activates in your email section of your funnel settings, that'll activate this automatic email that's shooting out, and you can actually see who's getting what. So for these people like, you know, this AOL person and this Gmail person, they actually opened it and they just got a random email that said, you know, hi, just want to let you know I received your Facebook request for the property valuation of 7120 Summer Summerfield Rancho Cucamonga and I'm on it. Are there any updates or renovations I should be aware of? Right. And they opened that. You seen that so far? Yeah. And I also responded individually. So I probably blew those ones already then. No, you didn't. No, because that's an auto email and that wouldn't be, and you should be responding individually. You should be. See, what's going to be happening is that on day three, another email will be sent out. And a day three, it'll basically say, um, and you haven't had any yet. So, so you may, maybe haven't gotten there yet. So that's cool. So, I mean, so day three, what would happen, it would be an email that would be like, quick update your home value. I hope you received my home evaluation and like what you saw. So it's assuming you did send them something. Um, if you have any questions or anything else I'd need to know about your house to provide you with a more accurate estimate, don't hesitate to contact me. So that sends out, right? You didn't, you didn't activate your text messages, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, so you're doing the right thing. And then ultimately what you want to be doing with your contacts is like with, with Gary, for example, you want to view Gary and see what he's given you. Like he said, he wants to sell within six months. It looks like a pretty beautiful home in that area right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, go look up the home value. You're like, yes, Gary, I will help you for sure. Um, and again, just because they say six months doesn't mean anything, right? Just you, until you have the conversation truly about what they're looking to accomplish and how, you know, it's not just like, let me come list your home. Um, the key on there is to, is to pick up the phone if you have the phone number and be like, Hey, it's Jay with Blah Blah Real Estate. You know, I got your Facebook home valuation request. Um, I was just now working on it and just want to let you know, this is complimentary. There is absolute no obligation whatsoever tied to it. Um, it is my way of giving back as a small business owner. I just don't believe that the internet could give you a great, uh, uh, you know, value. They're going to try to put you in an algorithm. Your home is not an algorithm. And, you know, before I do, I just have a few quick questions, right? You're just kind of starting the conversation you know, hey, you know, this is where to be the time. Hey, so looks like you're actually, you have a time frame here. You, you, have, you guys have a, a goal to get the home sold, right? And in that case, have, what type of updates and any renovations that you've done? And then you start just getting into the conversation, but nothing like just picking up the phone, right? And then also remember, there's going to be some of these phone numbers that are not mobile, they're landlines. Mm -hmm. And then obviously some people can put in bogus information too, right? So that's where... I think the use those words, it's psychology, like, hey, take them back to the experience. You just clicked on my ad. You probably thought this was an automated home value that you were going to get from Facebook. Am I right? Right. Um, and I work on it. Right. So 
the, the key is just to, to begin to take them back to the experience. Um, okay, so that being said, then obviously I would look into see more details. Sometimes like if you go to their social, you can see it, if, they're, if they use that Gmail, if there's anything up, I'd probably take Gary's name and then go to that address and try to cross-reference the information to make sure that they're kind of lining up, right? Mm -hmm. Because I don't know if Gary is a renter. I don't know if he's a potential buyer of that property. Um, I have to confirm it. It is the homeowner. Make sense? Yes. And where, then, what tab is it where we find where they said, um, you know, it's got new windows, a new roof? and Well, that would be here. It would be in here if they did. So it would be in here. So in this case, this gentleman didn't, but the other one might have. So one of the you, ladies did, yeah. Yeah. So if you look okay. at some, some leads will. Because guess what? When I get to this part of the funnel, mm -hmm. I can leave it blank. I can leave it blank just like this. I can sell, I can say I'm just curious and kind of just leave it blank because there's a drop down menu and click next. Does some people put stuff in, some people don't. And then this is where you, you know, right now this is a key, but I don't know you, it's you, right? I just assume like I don't have any connection to a human being yet. Um, and so a couple of those things that you could do is up, you know, upload an image there of you. Um, another thing you might want to do is go to your settings click on your Facebook pages and see if you have any reviews. Because if you do, which you do, right? We can make that a favorite. And so watch this. So if I just go there and then up, update it, there's your Facebook review. Oh, nice. Okay. And then what else? I could go to um, settings, profile, and just like use a slogan, like your friendly neighborhood expert or whatever I wanted. You, you can update that. And again, that's going to automatically save too. So when you go in there, now you got that there. So picture, review, slogan. And then this right here is where you'd activate the SMS because then I can have an automatic text message going out to those leads. So I'll show you, it's a pretty easy one. You, you wouldn't get anything like that would be negative. Um, it just basically reinforces the asking for the information of um, any updates, renovations and it, and it acts as if you had an assistant named Julie. So we don't have to activate it, but it's pretty smart. Do you want to activate it? Sure. Okay, so I you just think it's the right thing to do. Yeah, it's the right thing to do for sure. Because when you're trying to, 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 to see if Street Tech is a fit, but you want to obviously experience the whole thing. Um, so that's going to only go to the ones that I get from this point on. From this point on, yeah. So, so what number would be local there, 626? Yes. Oh, 909. I'm sorry. Okay, 909. Yeah. All right, add that in. And now you have a 909 area code. So now that will activate your SMS component. And then any lead in the future, like if I go back in the funnel now and put my name in and my phone number, you know, they could even schedule an appointment if they wanted to. So that would be the funnel. And then, so that's why in this circumstance, the clear takeaway is that, okay, Everybody here, Ovia, Chanel, you guys need your what's your home really worth funnel set up properly with the right split test. And you need to let those run for 24 to 40 hours to find the lowest cost per click model, which always relates in my mind, in most cases, to the numbers we're looking for. Because you need to have at least 50% of every one of your clicks become an address. And about 33% of every one of your addresses be an email. That's basically the, the averages I see across North America. And so if we're not following that, we need to change it. We need to do another test. Um, and so, and if your model, let's just, let me give you an example because my, my average address in North America is two bucks. My average email is six bucks. Phone number, somewhere around 15 to 20. So what does that tell me? It tells me that if I can get a low cost per click, let's just say my cost per click is a dollar. And then I should at least have anywhere from one to $2 addresses in that case. And then from there, I should have anywhere from like four and a half to $6, maybe $7 emails based on that ratio and similarly phone number submission. So that would be like, okay, a third of those. So that's how you figure out that type of funnel, whether or not it's a keeper or not. And if you don't know, then you now know and you just message me and I can really analyze those for you and pick the best one. But then as soon as that happens, then get really clear that this is not about you just getting a CMA in their hands. Now really focus on the relationship. And so what we do is we just hammer that home all day long 
um, and we show you some really cool examples of people doing that. So, you know, here's here's Wendy, and I'll kind of show you just a, a fun little example here. So, okay, someone arrives in their email to get the the whole idea of your Facebook home evaluation request for blah 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 address. You know, little home emoji. Home emojis make a big difference, right? They get better openings. Um, video right in the middle of that. Hey, just want to let you know I received your Facebook request for the valuation of little 20 second video. That's super doable because 20 seconds is like, oh, I can I can make time for 20 seconds. It's not a long winded like one minute to two minute video trying to explain the home valuation process. It's just an intro, just letting someone know, hey, this is a real person working on your home. Right. Um, another cool thing about Wendy is that she's got a link in there that connects to her personal Facebook. Surprise, surprise. You're actually running an ad on their personal Facebook. So full circle, it makes sense to connect on Facebook, right? 100% people business, relationships, right? That's what we're in real estate for. Um, and just a quick question, right? Are there any updates or renovations that I'd be aware of? She's got her brand in there. Very, very nice, fluid, automated email, okay? Now, your emails are easy to change and edit like this it doesn't it's not very hard to do so that that in itself is just kind of learning what systems to do what with this is bomb bomb for example there's other ways to do it but most of my successful agents are probably using something similar and so i just make sure that everybody from the very get-go gets into my group facebook and the street text insider group okay because i have a blueprint already designed for you if you really want to make street text a fit, like I've I've already designed it. It's there. It's right there, right there. I can give you demos. I can give you like how to split test with a short little video, um, a playlist of every mastermind we have, which is where hundred plus people come from all over North America. And some of which have done double to triple digit transactions since joining street text with us. And they just like, here's what I do. Here's how I do it. We talk about it. Here's my integrations, here's my scripts. Let's role play, blah, blah, blah. We just do it all together to see what people are, how they're connecting with these leads. And the key is not just sending over a home value. I promise you that's not the, the ticket. Um, and so we have a lot of great training and resources. And I think at the end of the day, I quickly find if these, this is someone who really wants to do this versus somebody who's like, oh my gosh, too much. I got a million things going on already. I can't do it because um, it's, social media we're not only going to make you a lead generation machine we're going to make you a conversion machine and we're going to expand the way you do social media we're going to show you the most effective way to connect with people you know and that includes every aspect of your real estate business that includes social media already it includes mailers that includes really smart integrations that includes scripts and strategies um you know facebook instagram people we're we're all highlighting all of our tools and, and really like it, it is the fastest way to build a pipeline faster. You'll build, you'll build a pipeline faster and unless it'll be less expensive than any marketing advertising you could ever imagine. But these, these are not leads that are ready to all transact today. These are leads are ready to, to have a conversation today. And will you develop that relationship with them? Will they come to know you? Will they come to like you? And then automatically that builds trust. So that's why it's it's for people that love connection, for people that are about contribution, for people that are willing to give back without receiving anything in return, and then just continue to nurture, continue to check in, continue to allow systems like HomeBot to help you. Um, and there's a lot of cool ways to do it. And some some will even use Facebook or you know Street Text as a CRM, and Facebook for itself is a CRM. If you use the friends list that way, it's a whole nother conversation. Um, you gotta have, you gotta be able to have fun too, because a lot of these leads, they just need a chance to meet somebody and connect with somebody. And so like, if everybody uses text message all day long, are you willing to actually send a voice back, like a voice chat back? Are you willing to send a video back to that person with, with messenger? Are you willing to connect with someone on Facebook? Are you, are you willing to use video in emails? If all you have is an email to connect with that person. And that's where you gotta kind of start questioning, okay, like if you're willing, I'll teach you. If if it's kind of if you're reluctant and you're old school and you just saying, you know what, no, I'd I'd rather just kind of tap back into the Zillow model, that's totally cool too. But 
this is the way of the future. And I think this is also the most cost effective way to generate leads, which I've ever seen. Um, but it quickly kind of humbles you a little bit because it makes you have to actually go back to being a student rather than a know-it-all. <laughs> Marcus, can I ask you about my automations? Yes. So I did the buyer lead yesterday for the first time and I had one that was really good. Yeah. But when I go to the automations, there's like four open. For automations? Yeah. Oh, because because did you not did you split test them? I think I did two split tests. Okay, I'll double check and look at them. So some some of the time you split test, they'll create separate automations. And so the the you just I, I here's what I would do. I would just go to your chat feature within the, the dashboard on the bottom right hand side and just say, hey, what's going on? Can we single this to one automation? Okay. That's with Aiden down there. He's he'll get back to you in that little support feature. Yeah, I'm talking to him right now because it still won't let me update anything on my profile, even if I save it. He'll he'll get down to it. If if there's okay. anything that they like, they'll they'll pass the, the baton to the next you know dev person because there's you know when it gets down to the level, it's like HTML coding and stuff. So sometimes okay. they have to pass it on that way. But it's all you'll okay. always get a resolution. Um. Any questions, Oviage, Chanel? Yeah, you know what, Marcus? I I think when I first got into it, I just set it up and start running uh, ads, and I got like three leads. And then I started uh, interacting with you on text message, and you said, "Well, we you know we need to set up a, a split test." So I, I watched all the demos. Sure. Um, and then you set up a split test for me, but. Um, I think I let it run longer than 24 hours. Uh, and then when I tried to book a session with you, I was, you know, I was like at least another 24 hours out. So, so I, I can't even get in now to see how it, how it looked. It just says, I think my. Yeah, man, I'll, 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 I'll uh, open this back up. I mean, here's the thing. Like the, the truth of the matter is that's why we need connection, right? Because a lot of this stuff, like you guys have busy lives um things kind of just happen we lose sight of it and all of a sudden you're like what just happened it's over <laughs> um yeah. so yeah i have no problem to do that so i'm not literally just resetting it for you right now and then i'll get back into there i'll analyze your results and you know it just in my mind don't like we will get into a phenomenal ad flow right so you kind of have to think of it this way you when you're split testing and navy testing you're spending a little bit more money just up front to find that ideal ad performance but then yep. you're going to have to start realizing that then you want to taper that off to one ad that's functional for you that you're willing to put an ad budget on a daily spend for. Because that's what most people do moving forward is then, then you're now allowing the pipeline to start building predictably. And with that being said, you know, this is where then you really start moving into the direction of, okay, maybe I need to pause the ad for a little bit, focus on this next 24 to 72 hours, however long you feel like you need it to really develop to define and, and create that experience for the first week that I want that person to have every time they enter my funnel. Mm -hmm. um, because it's gonna be a combination, I'll be honest, it's gonna be a combination of automations, right? Because automations are there when you can't be, but it's not, that's not just it. It's gotta be a really solid personal follow-up that feels genuine. Mm -hmm. and, and that in itself, you know, it takes a little bit of a, a mentality shift. So, I'll show you the example. All right. So I'll just share my screen with you. But I mean, this is applicable to everybody. I mean, don't, uh, you know, this is why I do these tri type of trainings because you can see like, so yeah, we didn't get to split test. We kind of just randomly threw that ad out there and it kind of just took off the way it took off, which was like very subpar in its, in its performance. Uh, so, so the, the way that I would kind of look at this, you know, as a, as a refresher is I would go back to the idea of, okay, what's, what's the address that we're going to be running from? Uh, 4572 Holly crest. That's one word. 45. Yeah. 4572, uh, Holly crest lane, Edmund. Yeah. Okay. 
So check this out. I can hear my kids. Um, up to Crescent, down to Piedmont, the village, Nicholas Hills, Witcher, Arcadia. Let me just tell them to be quiet. Hey, out, out, out. It's snowing out. I know, it is snowing. He's like, it's snowing out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, up to Crescent and uh, uh, Cedar Valley, we want to move that down a little bit. It's a little more rural. That's there. what I was thinking. So how yeah. how down do you want to go to do you want to like tell me how how down yeah you go? yeah it's it's okay to cover Oklahoma City because uh, where I live is really the the outskirts of uh of where the most of the houses are so I mean that could you could even inch it down you see where it says uh, Kilpatrick Turnpike right above that line that's going horizontal right below the pin it's like just okay. right below it it's like a, yeah yeah right there yeah about right there. That, that's perfect. So you'll hit up Cashin and Seward. You'll go down to the airport, Valley Brook. Yep. Everything. Yep. Okay, perfect. And so you kind of just then kind of see visually where you're heading and then you just click escape, right? And then you click, click done. Go back, put that address in and then we'll actually have to zoom out a couple of times and then we'll just kind of move again to this type of idea right yep perfect and then it's kind of hitting that up the way we wanted to and then you kind of kind of go into satellite you could do a map you could do the terrain um you know probably start with the map just to keep it simple and then you know what i'll do for you just like i did for for everybody is i'm just gonna launch this one just to keep that picture take the picture upload it into the what's your home really worth enter your address receive your home value funnel and let, let's split test that. That's probably the, the best plan moving forward. Now, Mark, just a quick question. Uh, yeah. Do do I need to get Instagram? Nope. Okay. Absolutely not. There's no need to. Um, it you know It's just a nice little you know marketing thing. And I actually think everybody's on Facebook. I think Instagram is more of a buyer focused tool. Okay. So it's, you know, it's nice to have until they actually are, are able to separate their stats out. I don't think it's really the end game um, for anybody. I think sticking to Facebook is still the smartest way to go. Okay, perfect. So um, here I go, super easy, right? I just go to this select funnel. I go grab this file from my, my recents folder, upload it. And then we just basically move that pin again, right? So we move that pin just a little bit down based on that pike area that you're talking about that little turn away click yep. next drop a pin so i'm going to throw that in here open this up real quickly and then we're just going to go okay we're going to go like okay where is that little area we're going to zoom just below this turnpike just like yep. that perfect yep just like that perfect escape done next one, two, three, that's it. So then I just, um, you know, uh, that's, you know, come back around tomorrow, same time or the next day and we're gonna have some great data and we'll have a winner and then we'll really shift into the idea of, okay, so let's, let's get in there and start really making this follow-up process natural, authentic, personal, um, and you know that that you got to be open to do some things a little bit differently than you're used to in that case, right? Hey, Mark, I have a question. Yeah. So I've been doing the three split since Friday. Yeah. It's time to turn two off. Awesome. But I'm a little confused on which ones I turn off. Okay, so read me your stats. So go to your go to your section of where it says ads, mm -hmm. and then tell me. Number one, how much you spent on each ad so far. Number two, what's your cost per, because it's going to actually break this down. What's your cost per lead? What's your cost per email? Okay, so email is $8 in one, $33 on one, and five on one. So turn off the, the ad with the 33. That's obviously an ad we're not going to be running moving forward with. right? Mm -hmm. and now you're left with an $8 email and a $5 email, right? Yeah. So how many emails do you have in the one with five and how many emails do you have the one with eight? 
the one for eight is four emails and so five is going to be your best ad because it's going to have what like six emails yeah and then the only thing I would say between those two that you might decide the one with, with four is better is go to your contacts and analyze if you have phone numbers from each one of those, plus also analyze the actual area where these leads are coming from based on the ad ID. Because just because you got eight emails versus six or six versus four, mm -hmm. look at the six of emails that came from that one ad and see how many phone numbers were involved. Look at the four emails from the other ad and see what, what type of phone numbers are involved. And then also start analyzing the cost of the home in the area um, within that range. Okay. And another question, that little person with the blue person with the number next to each contact, what does that mean? That is the marketing interactions from the email being, uh, you know, opened up as well as the text messaging. So the higher the number, the more they're interacting with your automations. Okay. Pretty straightforward, right? And so, I mean, here's here's my my challenge to everybody, okay? And I'm gonna I'm gonna challenge you. If you want to actually move forward with Street Text, here's my challenge. Number one, get into this group immediately. If you're not, we're not friends. And if we're not friends, we're not in this group. You're not in this group. So make sure we're friends. Number two, I'm gonna start sending you little messages like this with the helmet on. <laughs> um, just because that's the way I do it. And if you want someone to fun to work with, that's gonna be me. Um, okay, with that being said, I keep all, all the most relevant stuff in this insider group, okay? And I try to post and pin things that I think are relevant to your success. So obviously yesterday, 18 hours ago, I said, how long have you been a street text? How many deals have you done? Do you attend the weekly mastermind? And, you know, start reading the 25 answers. Sometimes you're going to see, wow, why is this person doing 20 deals? And this person's been with us for six months, a year and done nothing. Mm. It's because of a correlation, something happening, right? There's a breakdown. I don't know what you're doing, but you're obviously not doing the right thing versus why is this person averaging a deal a month? What are they doing? It starts with the psychology, right? It starts with the mentality. Um, so everybody's getting the same type of lead. They're all the same type of lead, guys. I just need to tell you that this is so subjective to your follow-up and the way you follow up and the way you make that person feel like they can talk to you so they don't feel like they're being sold. They feel like you're a real person who's looking to connect and help them and give them an amazing experience. And so if you can communicate that experience is complimentary, if you can communicate that experience is, you know, there's no obligation. It's your way of giving back. Here's why you do it this way then you can narrate the experience any way you'd like. And as long as you stay consistently in front of them, there you go. I mean, just got your friend request. Yeah. Okay. Guess this, this is how I do it. This is why we, we connect. This is why you didn't really get successful with your first trial, by the way, you could learn a good lesson right now. <laughs> okay. So now I'm in, I'm in um, here and I just go, okay, you just send me a friend request. I model this for you because I want you to think about this for your own leads guys. It's the, possibilities are endless and now you're in this group and just go have fun start researching this group start seeing what people are doing right how they're doing it what are what we're saying there's there's a key like to getting successful with street tests and then every everything we do sets you up for you know we have these daily trainings i also have a calendly um forward slash street text link which will connect you to a number of different zoom meetings we have on any given day the most important one for everybody here, though, would be our Wednesday mastermind. That is where the it is almost it's almost like this. If you're going to do street text, make it a non-negotiable. And I understand you have prior conflicts if you can't do that Wednesday, 9 a.m., 12 p.m. Eastern time, 9 a.m. Pacific. Um, we put it on demand. So like I do always put Actually, all my stuff if here, I'm right? It's here. So you never have to worry about not getting the material your way, but you have to actually watch it. Mm. Okay. Um, and so, you know, and then we also have, like, if you go back to my group, um, we also have like the street text Academy course, which is free. So in this little area, I have something that is uh, there for you. It's called the street text Academy. You can go through it. I like literally dissect how to make it work, how to put in video, how to update your email signature, you know, some cool scripts that got some gal five listing appointments in our first week, all this stuff in here. So that's free. You can just grab it 
and start looking at it. And then also we do have um, like some of our Street Text Hall of Famers like Jennifer and Janky, where we actually built courses with them. And you can actually see what they do from the very moment a lead comes in until, you know, the relationship and how often they check in and what their CMAs are like and how they like, you know, basically get to be where they're at. So lots so of good stuff, lots of goodies. On uh, Facebook, I, I did send you friend requests, but I'm not finding the street text insiders that because I haven't been invited yet. It's because we're at, so if you're, if we're friends, if I, I'm going to go back after this meeting and accept you and then I'm just going to invite you in. Okay. All right. I figured. So. And you'll have it. Yeah. It, Cause it did, you, you have to have someone invite you. Sure. Uh, and so that's why we have to connect first. Possibilities are endless. I'm telling you, this lead generation is a game changer, but we have to be really clever and innovative with the way we connect with people. Just like you're connecting with me. I want you to think outside the box with usually how you connect with the lead. Okay. Um, Good stuff. Good stuff, guys. You learned some stuff today. Yeah, it was good. Thank you. All right, Marcus. One, one, one last question, Marcus. Sure. Yep. Just one last, one last question. So, with this split test, I need to let it run for about twenty-four hours or so, and then uh, get back with, with you to see how it. Yeah, like you can message me tomorrow when you wake up, and we can okay. even get our eyes on it. Um, but usually, you know, let it spend anywhere from five to 10 bucks before you really truly decide if that ad is winning. I mean, with the, with the one case scenarios, like if you've spent five bucks and you don't single, have a single click or a lead, just turn it off. Right. But on the okay. case, if you have several ads, giving you leads, let them, let, let them compete a little bit longer against each other, at least for about 10 bucks each, each ad. Okay. Cool. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Oh, All right. um, just so you know, if you do decide to send, sign up with Street Text, there's three options, okay? Full year, it's 1920, renews month to month at 160. The six month option is 1020, renews monthly at 170. And then three months is a $600 uh, commitment, renews monthly at 200. Cool? Plus your ad spend. Remember your ad spend. And then remember, if you're really truly trying to grasp this, I would also set aside a monthly subscription with something like Bomb. Bomb. Um, and that's really it. That's, that's the only thing I could think of. So you set both mine and Ovid's, um, profiles up for this trial run for uh, that. We'll check in tomorrow, right? hundred percent. Yep. Okay. And, and how, how are we going to check in? Like, can we set an appointment to do another? You can, you, you can come or? right back into this one. It's just, it's, it's one of those things where I do all the time so we can review it. Or you can just message me on Facebook and just send me your stats. Like you don't have to come to another meeting. I can just say, hey, this is what I'm keeping on. This is what we turn off. And then we kind of move from there. Remember, I'm older. So I <laughs> just Facebook message me. Just I, need, me. I need like, so I sent you a couple of texts and uh, let me know if you got them. But okay. um, I, I need a little hand holding, but this absolutely sounds like something I'm, I'd like to look into. I got sure. you. I got you. I'll message you after this. We'll, we'll connect. All right, I'll, I'll guide you through. I can even make you videos to walking through your account. Yeah, so, that would help me a lot. You 100%. You got it. Okay. Thank you so All much. Right. Thank you, Marcus. Appreciate it, man. You're welcome. Thanks, All right. Cheers. Take care. All right. Bye-bye.